you guys. So I wanted to talk to you really briefly about a couple things I uh, forgot to mention doing my fermentation videos. First off, let me introduce to you to uh, my asparagus that's fermenting in here. And then I have some kosher dill pickles in this jar. I'm reusing uh, another pickle jar. I like the way the lid fits nice and tight on this one, so I'm reusing that this jar. It's not a mason jar or canning jar. These two are canning jars, and this is green beans, or these are green beans. Green beans, cucumbers, asparagus, they're all fermented now. But what I wanted to point out were a few things. First of all, um, I'll put a picture in here really quickly of what a brand new uh, in-the-jar ferment looks like. And you can see how clear that is. But as this ages, it's going to get cloudy. And it's getting cloudy because um, the yeast from the air is getting pulled in and it is changing the color while it interacts with the brine solution, the salt solution. So this is perfectly normal to see this. And I'm really hoping, because this lid fit so tight and I don't have any given it. I'm hoping I'm going to loosen this to burp it and that you're going to get a lot of bubble action here. Yep. I think. Oh. Yep. You see that? I don't know if you can see that. It's like effervescent. You can see, oh geez. Maybe in the very top near the rim you see the bubbles coming up so that's happening all throughout the jar it's it's hard to see it when it's oh no there that's better I think anyway hopefully you can see that so if you put a jar lid on really tight while you're um, fermenting so you need to come and burp it every day otherwise this jar will build up such pressure the, the lid will pop off um, you will get kind of effervescent product so it's it's almost like there's baking soda or something in there it it's bubbly it's like champagne or cider so it's it's very interesting but if you want this kind of result you can't do the loose top technique or one of those one-way check valves um, that I've used in the past so clarity Effervescence, so we've talked about clarity, that's normal. Effervescence is normal if you like it. If you don't like it, all you have to do is keep your lid you know, loose or have one of, one of those one-way valves or um, the silicone valves. Not the, the air water locks, I think, will function more like this and give you more effervescence. And then finally, I wanted to talk about um, yeast. Some people will find... And this is not a very good example, but you, can you see that white stuff floating in the top here? That's not mold, that's yeast. And yeast is normal, it's also on the side of the jar here. That is what is helping your ferment. It's, it's good, it's a probiotic, that's what we want in here. It's not mold. If you see something that's black, that's gray, uh, or pink, pink, red, black, gray, get rid of it. Some people say you can just skim the top off of your ferment and eat what's underneath of it. I'm a fan of, um, you know, this was pretty inexpensive. It's salt water and some vegetables I grew, so I'd toss it. So up to you what you want to do. If it's red or pink or that salmon-y color, never. Just always toss it. If it's gray, you're, you're, in a, you're in a gray area. If it's black, I wouldn't touch it either. But white is a yeast, and I'll link something somewhere around here in the description or put something below here that describes what that yeast is. So anyway, those are just three different things I wanted to discuss with you. And um, hey, start fermenting something. My cabbage is almost ready to be picked, and we are going to make some sauerkraut. And I have a Korean friend whose mother is going to share the family kimchi recipe with me. Super excited about that. Um, so that's going to be on the way too. We're going to do a, a real kimchi recipe, family recipe from Korea. So um, 
that'll be very cool. Anyway, that's all for now. Let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.